What is up you guys? Welcome back to another upload and today coming at you with another perfume experience and this is going to be the last one for this artisanal house because that is the last bottle I have. I do have some samplers but I'm not going to go over the samplers just because I don't think these sample vials uh, give a wholesome and full experience as a full bottle uh, more or less. Uh, you get a sense of what it is, but I'm not really sure in terms of potency. I find that a full bottle tends to be more potent scent wise versus the uh, little vial sampler vials that you get sent. So I won't get into these. So this is the last one of this artisanal house. And if you've watched my last two videos, then you know that I am talking about Ansar Oud. And today I will cover with you my experience of in Sar Oud uh, Purple Kinam and Purple Kinam is part of Ansar Oud uh, Privé or private collection and uh, again in terms of presentation it comes in this uh, full velvet uh, box which is really nice and then once we do open it on the inside we have the Ansar Oud Private blend bottle this is a 15 ml bottle that i bought again just because in the future i would like to experiment with more of his work um, i do find the scents are intoxicating uh, not the strongest nor the best compliment getters but for personal enjoyment i highly do recommend and uh, yeah so without further ado Let's take a look at the presentation in terms of the bottle. So again, a crystal based bottle. And uh, this is what you are looking at in terms of the 15 ml presentation. And this is what the juice color looks like. Really dark um, and more or less thick given that this is a pure perfume. And here we go again in the front side profile and yeah so this is a uh, purple kinam number four by Ansar Oud and I'm not sure again if this is a batch number or what it is but uh, just for your information that this is what I'm talking about so with respect to purple kinam um, again there's a lot that's going on in here but in terms of the key notes, uh, you have a violet, iris, water lily, you have a few kinds of oud, as well as musk and ambergris. So my own experience with this, it's very relaxing, very meditative, very luxurious in terms of a scent. It does have a bit of an animalic touch to it. And this is most likely from the Tonkin musk, uh, as it is being used here as a carrier. And there's ambergris also, which, according to the Ansar uh, Oud website write-up, comes from Sultan Kabus's own sort of stash. The Oud in here is interesting because it is very uh, floral to my nose, as well as you do get a bit of an animalic touch to it. But uh, for the most part, um, I find that this is a very uh, floral uh, ba based perfume. If you are familiar with uh, purple based floral perfumes, this is what you're getting here. So if you like perfumes, let's say that have lavender in them, uh, you're gonna like this because this has violet, it has water lily, it has iris. So you're gonna get this sort of uh, a bit of a Swedish gourmandish touch to it which I really do enjoy um, it's it's a very um, interesting scent because it mixes an animalic with the sort of oud as well as a gourmandish um, sort of sweet warm cozy touch to it not very heavy on the powder uh, side of things given that there is iris in it uh, which is actually really interesting because you get the iris note here without the powdery sort of after feel after effect 
Now, uh, what sort of occasion is this suitable for? Uh, you can really wear it anywhere. Uh, I think it would be work appropriate. Uh, it is uh, appropriate for staying in uh, inside your house. It's also appropriate for going out. It's appropriate for dressing up or dressing down. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this for, let's say, a nightlife slash club scene though, just because um, Honestly, it would be a waste in that environment. Uh, first of all, it doesn't project nor does it have the silage. So if you're looking for that attention or performing perfume, uh, this won't do it. That's not the intended purpose of this. Uh, but if you're looking for something for your own enjoyment, relaxation, uh, to kind of, you know, set a mood for yourself, uh, this is it. Yeah, and it's... Uh, it's a really nice, I mean, I get a very strong gourmand note in here. And again, like I said, this is most likely a mix of the violet with the iris as well as the water lily. And it's just a really, really nice scent. Uh, very dark juice again. And in terms of the different kinds of oots that are used in here, I've never smelled each of them individually, so I wouldn't be able to comment on that or how they would sort of uh, complement each other or enhance this fragrance. Uh, but you do certainly get the oud here. It's more of a floral oud though. It's not, and, and that is a quality of kinam uh, for the most part. And to the best of my understanding is that it tends to be more on the floral side. And some of them, um, and again, I could be wrong. Uh, sometimes you get an earthy, foresty, sort of uh, musty smell, I find, with Kinam. Again, don't quote me on that just because I'm not sure if what I've smelled would have been authentic Kinam. Maybe it was not, but my understanding is that for this, the Kinam tends to have a more of a floral uh, quality, a little bit of an incense quality to it too. But this is just fantastic and on top of that uh, for the carrier you have ambergris and Tonkin musk which is supposed to be rare cannot comment on that but you do definitely get that animalic facet in here and it's just a gorgeous gorgeous scent it's more on the floral gourmand side of things i would say so if you enjoy the combination of both uh, i would recommend going for this uh, purple Kinam. It is uh, fun to wear. It's easy to wear. It is not challenging, uh, nor is it on the offensive side of things, given that there is musk and oud in it. Uh, so it's definitely something that uh, you can wear around people comfortably without having to worry about offending anybody. As well as uh, just the overall experience with this, it's just very relaxing. It's a scent you want to put to relax. If you had a hard day or a stressful day and you put this on, it will help you sort of chill out, relax, you know, just enjoy yourself. It's like being in a garden that's full of purple flowers is the best way I can explain it. Uh, with a touch of gourmand, like if you walked into a French patisserie and you can smell sort of the uh, French vanilla, even though there's no French vanilla here, but that sort of gourmandish touch. So it's a very comforting scent uh, in terms of what it really does for me. Uh, just the mix of the purple flowers plus the gourmand uh, touch to it is what you're going for here really when you get this uh, moment of relaxation, uh, just winding down and enjoying yourself and de-stressing is what I would prescribe uh, this uh, as a scent for. In terms of uh, projection on silage, you're not getting much here. This is again a skin scent, although I will say this lasts on my skin quite a bit. Uh, so I'd say a good six to eight hours on my skin, which is really uh, interesting uh, because I think out of the all the Ansar Oods I have, this is the best performing one in terms of uh, longevity on skin. So uh, definitely a plus for the scent. And uh, again, gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Uh, really, really adore this one. 
And uh, yeah, you, also another thing about this is that you can put this going to bed to sleep at night and it's so relaxing. It's just cozy and comfortable and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous scent to kind of, you know, relax and take it easy and catch your breath, you know, like you work hard, you get out there and you deal with a lot of stuff that stresses you out, that taxes your body and your mind and your soul. If you want to kind of, you know, uh, spoil yourself, reward yourself as you relax, highly recommend this. And uh, yeah, can't say good enough things about it. Uh, the only downside as with all of uh, Ansar's work, which I mean, again, relatively speaking, is the price. Uh, this is on the pricey side of things just because it's a pure parfum, uh, parfum and there's quite a bit of uh, oils in it, natural oils and the carriers are natural too to the best of my understanding so that's the only downside otherwise gorgeous uh, smell really adore it have been enjoying it thoroughly and I hope this lasts me a while and uh, yeah if you were on the fence about this uh, I'd say go and grab it, uh, treat yourself, you're definitely going to enjoy it, especially if you enjoy purple florals and gourmand notes mixed in with oud, ambergris, and musk. You won't regret it, all right? So this is it for my experience with Ansar Oud Purple Kinam, and uh, that's it for today's upload. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.